Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Brad. This is my channel Animate Orange where I build a lot of 3D metal models and show you how I do it. Today on the table from Metal Earth, a colorful little golf cart set. Now when these first came out it seems like a lot of people were excited and grabbing them and, and I was one of them. I ended up ordering it and it, it never actually made it to my house because I, I couldn't find it around here and it kind of got lost in the mail and from last I heard Several months later, it still hasn't shown up. Well, I got me another copy, so let's sit down, open this up, see what's inside. Doesn't look to be particularly complex times three. I said that before. Let's uh, open it up, see what's inside, and put it together. The golf cart set. <laughs> what do we have inside? One sheet. Two sheets in color. Oh. And we have one set of instructions to open that up. We have two sides, kind of a newer style. Scratch my head here. On page one, on the front here, you start off with the Metal Earth 3D metal model kits. QR code, web address for the 360 view, line drawing of one of the completed golf carts, which could really be any one because they're all the same, I think, just different colors. And this has none color. Line drawing of one of the uh, sheets. And we have our usual insertion tabs, fold lines, and insertion holes information here. Needle nose pliers are helpful for assembly. The more advanced legend, which has the older blue circle, when you see that in the assembly flowchart beside a connection, it means to insert a tab fold it over 90 degrees. When you see the green triangle, it means to insert the tab and twist 90 degrees. And this is a little note, pull and screw metal tabs 90 degrees to tighten. It does make a more secure connection usually. And then when you see an E, a little bubble like that pointing to something, it's telling you that's the engraved side or en engraved section of the uh, sheet or piece which helps you to orient it the correct way. Non-engraved points at a side or an area that has no engraving or at least no useful engraving. Sometimes that takes a little interpretation. And then this little hand here is an attention point. I don't see any right here. You sometimes see that trying to tell you to make sure you line up something up a certain way or this hole is in this area or this direction. Sometimes there's wording with it to explain what you need to pay attention to, sometimes not. And then down below all of this, we have the two sheets in color. I wonder if it actually matches the color of the sheet. Let's see here. No, it does not. There's a color code stuff that's the same part, and that's very cool that they do that. It makes things easier to find, but here you kind of expect it to be the color of the individual carts, but it's not. It sticks to the previous um, arrangement where these are all blue. These are all the exact same part, actually black on here and these are all green they're actually multiple colors depending on which card it goes to but yeah I still like the fact that they do that to help you identify like parts so they only have the number let's see this is 13 so these would all be 13 all these blue ones would be 13 this is 16 so all these reddish orangish almost rust colored would be 16 so that's what that's all about. Put that aside and slide over to page two. To the start of the assembly flow chart, we start with part one, part two, and we begin to build one of the models. And I suppose you get to pick the colors that you want to use. Let's get all the way through this. And then we've got three and four. Five and six, you just follow the arrows and sub assemblies, putting all the parts together. You get to the bottom, flip over to the other side. To page three, you pick up with part seven, part eight. You just add the parts on and complete. Continue building the model. You get to the bottom here, you slide over to part four and finish up the last few steps the wheels adding the two parts together and you're completed and finished and done with one model so they don't give you separate assemblies flow charts for each one which makes sense they just give you one so i'm assuming that 
if you want to make all three, you basically have to go through and find the appropriate colored part, or you can mix and match. It's however you want to do it, I suppose. So all these are the same, but when you get over to, say, where are we at before? When you get over to part one, right here, these are all the same. Well, you got to figure out, are you working on the red one, the silver one, or the green one? Depends on which part you want to want to pick and then these two are light parts and so is that and again this is the green this is the red and then the other sheet probably has the silver right there so you got to pick the part that's appropriate for the one that you're making but I guess the cool thing about this and it says it on the back here if you read this bottom part let's see here where is it at? under the picture Three different color models included, easy to build, three models provided backup, three models provide backup for the beginner in case of assembly problems. So that's kind of neat. I guess that's one of the ideas behind having this three set. You build one, you, you, you're new at this, you pick this up, you try one, you mess something up, you break it, you go, well, that stinks, but I've got two more. Let me give it a second shot. So that's kind of cool. I would suggest if you have a favorite color and you're a beginner, don't start off with your favorite color. Start off with your least favorite. That way, if you do mess up and break it, eh, practice on this next least favorite. <laughs> and hopefully by the time you get to your favorite, you will have worked it out. Let's take a moment to talk about the tools that I use. This is my standard set that I use in most every build. I have long needle nose pliers and flat nose pliers useful for a variety of different things. I have flush clippers that I use to cut the parts off the trees. It makes it quick and easy. And then I have some precision tweezers, one with a very pointed end, one that's had the pointed end ground down slightly, and one with a flat sort of curved end great for getting into curved areas. And then I have a standard set of tweezers with an angled tip. These come in one of the Iconics models and I love them and use them a lot. When it comes to shaping rounded parts, there are many options. I used dowel rods for a long time. I sharpened the ends of two of them with a pencil sharpener. These two are great for making cone shapes. Another option is a cheap drill bit set. This set has quite a few different sizes to choose from. Another option is a set of step mandrels. All right, so we've gone over the directions. We've got our very colorful metal sheets here and some tools to get us started. Let's start making some golf carts. The middle tab here was in a tight spot. It bent over trying to get the tweezers behind it to twist it, so I just went with it and bent it over. Unfortunately, you can't quite see it from this view. I felt it best to start with the end tab attaching to the curved fender and then work the rest of the tabs in.
I finished the first golf cart without much trouble. Now on to the other two. The second one went by faster than the first, no surprise there. I had trouble holding on the golf bag while turning it upside down so I could get to twist the tabs. I ended up bending one of the tabs over with my fingernail to hold it in place while I twisted the other tabs. The lower tabs on part 12 proved to be tough to twist securely.
It's tough to see, but at this point, part 12 fell off, showing that it was not as secure as I had thought. And for whatever reason, the first time I bent over this tab in the front, I had no problem, but this time, everything pushes inward. And on to number three.
By this point, I had worked out a bit of a system for forming the wheels, and they went pretty quickly. And I give you the golf cart set. All finished and done. Neat little trio of golf carts, silver, green, and red. I'll put these down real quick. This is an interesting little build. It only took about an hour and a half to do all three. So if you break that up, that's about 30 minutes per golf cart. And I think for me, the first one probably took a little bit more than 30 minutes because the other two took a little over 20, but roughly about 20 to 30 minutes per depending on how quick you move. It's an interesting concept, and I didn't really think about it until I actually had the model and opened up and started to build it, but it's almost like a training set because you have three of the exact same models. They're not super easy. They're a little challenging, but not terribly so. And you get to try them one at a time. So you can kind of practice. You mess the first one up. Oh, well, you've got two more. So for the price of one kit, and I don't think it's one of the more expensive ones, you get a chance to try three times on the same model. So it's an interesting little sort of intro practice kit if you look at it that way. Or if you just want a trio of golf carts, well there you go, there's a trio of golf carts. Either way, it's an interesting model, an interesting concept, and I wonder if, I think that may be how in, they meant it. It's sort of a training, sort of a practice, sort of a give this a shot and see if you like it. You've got three tries to figure it out. It's kind of an interesting concept. In the end, neat little builds, another fun one to do. Another to add to the collection. I enjoyed it. They look pretty neat. Never thought I'd be excited about golf carts, but hey, there you go. And really, golf carts kind of began this whole electronic cart phenomenon that's used everywhere, especially in warehouses and industrial situations. But anyway, I'll leave it at that. If you have any questions or comments, as always, feel free to leave them down below. Consider supporting my channel so I can keep the videos coming. Check out my Patreon. There'll be a link in the description down below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and keep on keeping on.